Hello, welcome. Take a moment and try this problem out. Press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so they say expand. If you see expand or simplify with a logarithm, you've got to use your laws of logarithms to mess around with it, essentially. So right here, I'm going to rethink this as the log of, we have 4x cubed, and then that is being divided by the denominator. So you can split that up minus the log of the square root of y and x minus 2 to the sixth. So that was my first law. And all, all I was applying was this one, the log of a over b equals the log of a minus the log of b. OK, now what? Well, now we've got some multiplication to deal with. So in this, we have 4 times x cubed. So I can rethink that as the log of 4 plus the log of x cubed. Be careful. Don't bring this in the front here because that 3 is only being applied to the x, not to the whole term 4x. If it was applied to the whole term 4x, you could do that. If it was written like, like this, 4x cubed, then it would work. So be careful there. And then we have to subtract um, the next piece. This is the square root of y times x minus 2 to the sixth. So uh, again, we can split it, but be careful. The minus applies to everything that we are writing out. So the log of the square root of y and the log of x minus 2 to the sixth. Now we can basically almost finish. Here, the log of 4, we'll leave that. 10 to the power of 4, I'm not sure what that is, but we'll leave it alone. Plus what? 3 times the log of x. It can bring that exponent in the front. Remember, this law says the log of a to the c equals c times the log of a, or the clog law. You see that word, the clog, right there? OK. Minus what? Well, what, the square root of y is really y to the 1 half. And you can bring that half down as the log, one half the log of y. And then add a 2. This time you can bring the 6 down in front because it is applied to the whole value here. So 6 times the log of x minus 2. And then what? Well, the log of 4, rewrite it, plus the 3 times the log of x minus, distribute your minus sign, one half the log of y minus 6 times the log of x minus 2. And you can't split this apart. This is, if it was written like that, the log of one thing minus the other, you could do it. But that's not what we have here. So that, I believe, is the final answer that I reach. And I'm taking a look to see if it matches what I've written down. And it basically, um, you, you can go one step further. I do often forget this. When you have a perfect square, like 4, or 16, or 20, you know, any perfect square. You could go one step further, because this really equals the log of what? 2 squared, which is 2 times the log of 2. So that often might pop up in the problems you're working on, and that's exactly what we have here. So that's going to be our first term, but everything else seems to check out. All right, I hope that helped.